Hello everybody, Project Cardboard, and today I thought I'd do a quick video about prototyping. So, this is very simple. Basically, how I, just the basic idea, it's nothing special, it sounds more special than it is prototyping, but basically, how do I come up with a model shape? Because this, try to guess what model this is, F35, I'm not making F35, but I am planning on it. So, to prototype, I just thought that I'd make a quick video on how I go about doing it. Like, do I start with a 3D model? No. Do I start, like, how do I start? So, this is basically how I start. So, this prototype may work out or may not work out. If it works out, you'll see the video. If it doesn't, you'll never see it. So, you're probably seeing this. So, <laughs> so basically, I went on Google is not Google, but I went on Google uh, search engine and I got an image of the F-35 top view. I always start with the top view because that's the most definitive thing about the airplane. So I go on top view. First of all, I open some images of other people's paper model F, um, F-35s and I just saw the real thing and I saw their thing. So you can see it's more simplified of a shape, but it still really portrays the shape very well. So once I have the top shape, then I'll probably open this um, image of the side shape because that's the second most defini definitive shape of it. So then using this as kind of a reference to give some ideas, I will just then, using tape, start to take pieces of paper as such and glue it like that, tape it like that over to just build the basic shape. This is the most primitive method, but I have a piece of paper over my screen and I'm simply tracing the side view. So I'll trace this excluding the canopy. So the canopy will be there, but I won't go for the canopy. I'll just draw a straight line to the end of the canopy. Then. So now I trace the top, the silhouette, and then I cut it in half. So probably using glue, I'll glue this on top of there, and then glue the bottom half on the bottom. You see, so then I can just build on top of that. Kind of like what you do in Blender by getting a blueprint. It's the same thing, except you're doing it physically. So, but before I do that, the very important thing is to do, since we make it out of paper, and paper doesn't make rounded corners very well, so what we'll do is take something flat and then try to make this low poly of sorts so it's not smooth instead it's a series yeah. of straight cuts the smaller those are the better so what I've done is I've made this low poly ish by cutting it in so it still looks curved but now I can easily put paper um, stripes on it and this is specific to the F-35 and a lot of these fifth gen fighters but let me just show you real quick I'm not going to show you my sign in password F-35 this is the F-35C we're working on right now and if we just go, this is a good okay picture. As you can see, this leading edge underneath the canopy is sharp. It's sharp. It's a sharp curve in nature. It's not round. So we need to do that with paper to make it so much easier too, which is a good thing about these fifth generation jets. So I glued it on. There's our first axis, the top. In fact, our second axis this is the first this is the second. I used that. Usually hot glue would be ideal. Hot glue and tape are the ideal things for this, but I don't want to have to fire my whole hot glue gun right now, so I'll just use this. First of all, I'll do the top, then I'll glue on the bottom half. Is it this? Oh, yeah. I actually first glued on the bottom half accidentally. So then I'll finish the bottom and then I'll do the top. So now I'm going to do the inner structure for the bottom part here. And as you can see, this part here is pretty flat. So it's basically I'm planning on making a piece that's flat and then folding the edges to make the sides. You'll see what I'm saying. But so now I'm going to cut a shape 
that fits there and it'll go right over there then we'll curve it down and add fixing it so this test build is shocking me I'm not even trying to be dramatic or anything this is just amazing because the F-35 to me is the most complicated aircraft to make. It's the most complicated airframe I could think of to make with paper. That's why I've been attracted to things like the F-117 and flatter models because they don't have this complicated geometry to them. But when it comes to making something like this, it's best to just jump in. And just sometimes you can even bend it, bend the paper just to make it fit. Like for example, here's round and it tapers off to be this kind of sharp edge. I usually don't like to do that, but that's what they did here. So, usually I'd like to do things with more precision and stuff, but you have to remember that this is not an actual model, it's just a prototype. And you may be wondering, what's the purpose of this prototype? Because it doesn't quite look like F-35, but the whole point of it is just to get, get your brain to think of it in a more simpler way, kind of when you are drawing a picture of something you start off with, if you're drawing a person, you draw like rectangles for the legs, a circle for the head, just break it down to simple things. That's exactly the same way you translate that same type of thinking to 3D stuff, like 3D models, 3D replicas. It's the same, it's the same process, the same thing, just like I showed you with the blender example. So basically, that is, that's what we're basically doing. And you try to do this as detailed as possible, so then later, usually what I do and this is exactly how I did the SR-71 how I designed the SR-71 I just took some paper I always start off with copy paper printer paper not cardstock because cardstock is harder to work with you need like exacto knives and stuff but for this I just want to work simply I do use an exacto because I've gotten so used to it but scissors just you it sometimes it's best to use simpler tools for this so you don't so your brain doesn't feel as if you're making something serious where it has to be all perfect. So you just start with a rough model and then what you do is I'll make like three more of these. Three more of these types of models with the same simple designs and each one will be better and then like the th fourth one will be very detailed exactly to the close one to the, how I want it to be. So it will just be like a shell of the real model how you actually want it to be in the end so then once it looks like that proper and the the shapes are right how I want it to be then I will add in more details to it and then all I have to do is fill in the details like engines lights seats dashboards and stuff like that so that's basically the thinking behind this and it's best to use hot glue as I said in the beginning I would not use my hot glue gun I ended up using it because when you're doing something like this, it's nice to act quickly. So I'm just building it super quickly. It's like a sketch for 3D modeling. So I'm basically sketching the model before I make the real one and I take it into Inkscape. And what I'll usually do is when I have the best rendition at the end, I'll very sadly pull the whole thing apart, lay it down, throw it into my printer, scan it, take it into Inkscape, fix those patterns that were traced with Inkscape or Illustrator or whatever, and then print those templates out, test them, revise them, and then we'll have the finished model. Thank you guys for watching this video. I've been wanting to make this video for a while actually, like to go into how I end up making these templates. And I know this is super simple, it's nothing special, but I for years were wondering how do people go about doing it? And this is just my way that I found out to make templates. And I'm super excited of what I can do with this in the future. And I'm super excited to see what you guys can do. Thank you for watching. I really am thankful. I'm really grateful. I'll see you guys in the next video. I have not forgotten about the SR71. I've just been doing a lot of stuff, kind of busy. Peace.